Hey, everybody. Turn that thing down and get ready for summer school. <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? Coming to you live from the Chocolate Milky Way. It's that time. Time to wake up. Time to get your stretch on. Time to get your groove on. You're having morning coffee with the pioneers of internet television. Hey, come on and smell my finger. Guess <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, man, you know what? I got to give love and props to GNN up there in Port Townsend. He's going to send, send a message saying, you know what, Rodney King... Just got picked up for a DUI by the police or arrested or booked either one. And he was headed over to Pac Stereo. I said, I did, I defy that rumor. I actually think Mario has better news. Mario. Man, I got, but yeah, I do have better news. I also have worse news. But hey, it's going to be fun today. Music, music, music in the his house, you guys. But I got stories too. Uh-oh. So get ready, man. That's right. Check it out. Gotta say, getting ready for Carmageddon. Have you ever heard of freeway work that's so powerful and so important that it's on the right on the top of you, yes. Yahoo? Yes. Carmageddon, that, that LA's high. getting red, you guys. Let me tell you what's about to happen in LA. We have, was we anticipate a big freeway shutdown, but that's not all. That's not all of it, you guys. The World Cup, U.S. is up already, Vic. Oh, uh, you go say to, up? Women's woman's soccer, you guys. We're already leading by one over France. It's been a good morning, man. <laughs> Check it out, you guys. Well, you got news like that. How can you trump that? Now, Mario, tell me something. You going to invite any of the soccer players to the uh, studio? Oh, yeah, man. I'm inviting them all. <laughs> Presley, hope solo. Why? Why hope? They hope solo because she's fine, man. Fine and big and athletic. We're gonna find out how fine you think they are. I got a little <laughs> a ranking and trivia for you, my brother. So I'm oh. gonna let you do it. I'm gonna let you keep doing your good. So news sports back. is gonna be hot today, everybody. Remember, this is the show that comes to you live and unscripted, where we get together and talk to you about the things that's going on, just like you would do around your breakfast table. Except we're not scratching anything and our robe is not open. <laughs> you know what? That's rumors. I got. Some some pictures with some robe shots, you guys. If you ever want to tweet pick my, uh, you know, or tweet pick my stuff, just let me know. I'll send it out. Mario, am I lying? No, you're not lying. <laughs> Got that Taliban photos of Vic. Oh, and we ought to have a contest to give away those photos I as we get more in intimate. Day. I was in my spoken word days. I deny and defy all rumors. <laughs> hey, everybody, come on. You can see how it's going to be. It's going to be this kind of a morning. So get your coffee, your bran muffin, your yogurt, whatever you're sipping on, whatever you're smoking on. Those illegal Cubans, those unfiltered camels, that badass Cali. Whatever you're having this morning, baby, come on and share it with us. It's time for morning coffee. Hey. Hey, look do out, you guys. what we came to do. Look out, you guys. Here he comes. He's swinging. I don't know if he's doing Just jive. Just B. B. <laughs> B. What? B. Q. <laughs> you hey. know what? I was going to sit back and crack on some people, but you know what? They may they may hear me cracking, and then I... Then I'm gonna feel bad and feel sorry, man. So you know I'm gonna be I'm gonna that's be right. cool because that's how well, you always thing. are. Yeah. W e f u n k. We funk. We cool. We all those things. I got on my Crenshaw shirt today, as you know. We see Crenshaw's famous. For what? Famous around the world, around the globe, the Crenshaw community here in Los Angeles, from whence we broadcast. Because remember, this is Neo Urban Internet Television. We're coming to you live. And we come to you out of a small studio in, (laughs) well, Mike says Lamert Park. (laughs) We're a couple of blocks up. Right. But right there next to it, right there, View Park, Lemur Park, here we are in Los Angeles, California, coming to you live. And we'll say hi to everybody out there. What a day, what a day. It's Wednesday, July 13th. You know, I have to admit, I got caught up in the women's soccer thing. Right. And so I've been watching that this morning. It kind of got in the way of some of my preparations because the U.S. women's team, you know, some stallions, the goalie, the U.S. goalie's name is Hope Solo. Ain't that a hell of a sports name? And she's bad. And when you say bad, I mean, I mean, I'm just looking, you know, it's your first time physical. It's your first time watching it, isn't it? Well, they're athletic women's soccer like this. I mean, I've watched it sporadically, but not like this, where I had a game that had me mesmerized, even the pace of the game that we won over Brazil. I was so caught up. And yeah, they were fine. And I had to admit, I, I am a man. So that piglet part of me. You think anybody has a problem out. with you knowing if that you're a man? Well, some of them aren't sure. <laughs> you know, you never know. Can fool you. This is Los Angeles. That's right. This is Los Angeles. But I want everybody to know the U.S. is up. The Women's World Cup by one. I'm watching it. Um, it's hot. It's hot. And so that's what's going on around here in Los Angeles. We're also getting ready for Carmageddon. Can you believe this? They're going to shut down the 405 freeway. 
to work on it, to work on the overpass, okay, uh, to do this. And it's such a big deal. It's on the news everywhere, and they have a name for it, Carmageddon. <laughs> Carmageddon. Right. At first it was Carm. I was thinking about Karma. No, it's Car. It's all about what's going to happen, and that's starting this Friday. So I'm actually trying to make some adjustments, see if I can get you some video reports. I would love to be able to be right there when they shut it down. Right. Filming right when they shut the freeway down. Broadcasting that live. You know what? And you know why they need this, Mario? When you see the uh, reports, when they tell you which streets will not be accessible, not just the freeway, and they start bracking off into those areas. You actually sit there, Mario, between you and I, there's really like three or four thoroughfares that take you from, the, from oh, this side of the uh, Hollywood sign or this side of the hills over to the valley. There's really PCH, Sepulveda, 405, and then you have those in-between shots. All those in, and those are the ones they are absolutely telling you right. they're crazy. Or like, right. okay, Topanga Canyon way out there. Right. Okay, also all those other canyons, Laurel Canyon, all those other canyons, it's going to be crazy up in there. And they're like those, sometimes those streets go down to like one lane each way. Right. So, yeah, we're getting ready in Los Angeles, for those of you who don't care. You say, we go through this. I know you guys go through another, but it's Los Angeles, and I guess it's news yeah. that we go through it. Uh, the other thing is uh, Rodney King, like we were saying, arrested again. Yeah. You know, can we all get along? And I've been polling, and even black folks are saying it's time to whip his ass. <laughs> Good time. Wait a minute. Say, so wait a minute. White well, folks are saying so, no abuse, but black folks. I've been polling, and black folks say no. It's time to abuse his ass. Let's beat his ass. Wait, wait a minute. Well, the police. <laughs> the police said we did you guys a favor. Back then it is and now, and you guys rallied yeah, against us. Said some of us it's to changed Idaho, now, and we tried to tell you. Now you guys want to come back? Now and they say, say we right. now they say whip his ass. Okay, you know this is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is wrong, man. So y'all write and let us know how y'all feel. <laughs> and I, we want to poll our own viewers Wait a minute, to find out if our own viewers would whip his ass. Wait a minute, Mark, how do you feel knowing that a lot of people were standing behind him and, and he's had a delicate history, if I say How least. do I feel? And, and wait a minute, one more. To be in history of, of a movie film, The Planet of the Apes, where they use a quote by Paul Giamatti, who was one and of the right. apes, and he says, can we all just get you along? Know, that's right. If you don't, And you still can't take advantage of that. Whip his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to shout out to all our good buddies. Okay, also, our newly appointed ambassador of the chat room, <laughs> Mac. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Mac McAllister, <laughs> GNM Viewer Chief. He's the director, host, producer of Retro Jazz and Blues. Online with Mac.ning.com. Right. right. The weekly show he puts out is Retro Jazz and Blues. I call it the habit worth having. Right. And, uh, we, you know, we're featuring his commercials, you know, because we don't have that many commercials. <laughs> and But we don't want to do commercials that are just no, commercials. No, no. Our commercials are enjoyable pieces right. that you just want to play over right. and over. And Mac McAllister produced a number of those for us, and I got them in rotation now. Right. So they're coming up all the time. Yeah. So go ch and so you got to go check out his show, though. So I want to give a shout out to him. <laughs> Did we get those administrative privileges? <laughs> Man, why? We doesn't we doesn't recruit people. We doesn't recruit people. <laughs> Wait a minute. We couldn't Mac give away. Mac seventy one. We couldn't give away administrative print. Really. Mac, yeah, but see, so okay, that's why we, we you depend on who you can. Hey, the stories I got today really involved in the in the good news, bad news, other shit section. You guys, the stories I have a bunch of videos today. One is because of all the budgeting thing. I found one on the spiraling costs of the U.S. military, which no one's talking about cutting any of that back, and the drones. Uh, I also have found one on the tsunami effects on Japanese relationships as it relates to marriages and divorces. You know, and, and, and especially when they do, you know, they're so known for holding up under pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, another video that on the Kung Fu birthplace, the Shaolin priests, how they're being affected by commercial tours. Really? The Shaolin priests. Mm. And if we can... I have another couple of them that we may take a look at, even though the, I, I don't know. I put, like I said, we kind of prioritize certain things. Don't want to uh, make you guys struggle too much. Right. Okay? Yeah. All right. But as I now, I don't know if I let you know, for some of you don't know, today is July 13th. Our slogan of the week is by Ray Bradbury. And the slogan is, you don't have to burn books to destroy a culture. Just get people to stop reading them. Mm. You don't have to burn books. Just get people to stop reading them. Whether by Kindle or paper, 
<laughs> so that's Ray Bradbury, okay? Mm. All right? Yeah. All right, so now I think it's time, Vic. Okay, it's that time, right? It's that time, it's that time, it's man, that you're gonna time. Give something, something, man. Whatever you do, man, encourage the young folks not to get old fast. Okay, young folks, don't get old fast. Get old slow. Try to do what we're doing. Hang on, and then you too could be like Mac McAllister living up there, trying right. to, on the dock, sitting on the dock of the bay. That's right. Everybody, welcome to. Four plays, it's a very few special moments to seduce your mind. We tell you all about Pack Stereo. Listen, Pack Stereo is Neil Urban Internet Television. It is a grand experiment. It is a creation. Somehow, somehow, I managed to convert radio station software so that it would play video. And then I tricked it into broadcasting full time on the top three internet platforms. So right now, this software that I have, <laughs> let's just say I adapted it, is now controlling our broadcast system, allowing us to broadcast to you 24 hours a day on the three largest internet television platforms. We are Neil Urban Internet Television. We are planning a pop station, Neo Pop TV, Spoken Words TV, Hip Hop TV. We have a number of TV platforms coming and in development. So we wanted you to know that because some of you come and you go, what is the show? I say, well, hey, the show we did, because believe it or not, when we built this platform and Vic will testify, we couldn't get anybody to make shows for us. I tried, man. You know, they said, pay me. Pay, sexual favors, <laughs> everything. If nothing worked. And so we made our own shows. We decided to do this because in the morning I watched the news and had coffee. Vic was doing sports and looking at nasty pictures. So he came up with hot pics. I sure, man, I do. I, man, you know what? I'm a bad man. I, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my ex-girlfriend. Piglet. Piglet. We're all pigs. So Victor came up with hot pics and the new new sports, and I did the morning coffee, and so together we wove it into this wonderful show mm -hmm. that you're watching. But hey, the key is that you get to watch neo-urban internet television evolve. This is a new happening. It's an evolution. It's a revolution. You could be in that plat room, plat room, that chat room. With our ambassador of chat, oh Mac McAllister, okay, and all of us in that chat room, live and on the air, and we'll talk with you, you nasty puppies, you. It's cold. So anyway, join us. So that's what this is about. We are the complete team. There's no cameramen, no audio or sound technicians. Victor is the co-captain. I built this ship. I know it like the back of my hand. My buddy over there, live on the air, stands in command of two video switchers. I have seven PC systems, as you can see. We got it busy. We are multitasking on steroids. We are self-trained and self-educated. We are outsiders. So tune in. Right. 90 minutes to two hours of unscripted fun, and then we'll cut it up in segments and have it up on YouTube. New New Sports syndicated so as its own as its own show. Hot Picks syndicated it as its own show. Better. And Morning Coffee. Mm. Everybody, join us. Preach. We love living the dream, and we love doing the impossible. You know, Mar, I, I really think you should share with them. Yes, the thank new you. adventures that you're having and going out and uh, partaking in these eateries that you express how you like the food, even though you're not shooting a, a camera angle and a video interview and all that. You should tell them, you know, your adventure because, you know, you have to hear this brother when he describes food. It's almost like it's his woman. Okay, <laughs> it is because you get older and food is so much like sex. Right. You know, I don't know about you all, but I have this thing about the food channel, you know, and I've been, so I've been watching a bunch of stuff. And so here comes these wonderful restaurants. So lately we've been partaking of these wonderful restaurants, went out yesterday and went to the Nickel uh, Diner, which is down on 5th and Main. I'm talking about the middle of bombed out <laughs> L.A. You're this wrong. is a, this ur urban reconstruction has not hit this zone. Okay, this is like you know half the people out on the street. Right. So you you know it's a whole different scene. But you go in here and the food was the bomb. It's, it's the, the food eclectic. was the bomb. It's the eclectic environment. Although you do have 
what they call the missionary folks down there, and they're and they're very well behaved. That's what I'm saying. We have the homeless folks. You know, it's a spice of it's, it's a slice a spice. You're yeah, that too. <laughs> it's a slice of Americana. There you go. In other words, it's real. It's it's real. It's well, really. It's, but I'm telling you. For those of us who move within the different elements of Los Angeles, it's just another example of why we like this place, uh, how L.A. can be so special. And it's not so special because of the administrative people. It's so special because of the people that make up the community. Yeah. And so the people who do this restaurant, they take such pride in their food. The donuts are the shit. I'm not lying. What's the name of the, the spot donuts? Again? The nickel, di- the nickel Diner. On Main Street. Fifth and Main. Right. People who know L.A. go Fifth and would you would you take your down on Fifth and Main? Would you take a date? Take a gun. Would you take a take a knife? A uh, gun or a knife? Ice pick joint. will work. <laughs> Piece of glass. <laughs> You're wrong, dude. I just take right. really strong black women with me <laughs> when I go. And they, they, they sisters, big where, sisters will whip some ass. Where, 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 that's no, no, I'm just bring you a big sister. <laughs> We'll whip some ass down so, there over some fish okay. and some corn. I had these corn cakes. Oh, the corn, with yeah. the with, I mean, the corn cakes. I don't even know what a corn cake was, but I saw it on television. The corn cakes with the with the catfish on top. They look good, man. Oh, look man. good. So I'm gonna tell y'all about All where right. to eat in L.A. Guy Fieri, you know, diners, yeah. dive-ins, and dives went there, and that's why I saw it. So Vic and I, that's why we can't take no dates. Right. Money's tight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Kane. Right, hey, hey, Mark. Hey, Kane. Sorry. Hey, Mark. Tell y'all about it. Can I do something real quick? Don't. I'm not kissing anything, yeah, 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 but you, you can do whatever well, you want. You can kiss something you on the left it. side of me, man, but you know, it don't make no difference. <laughs> I, can we do a, a brief musical interlude? A quickie. Just a quickie. Only reason why is because I think you're going to be bringing up stuff that, you know, I, we have to part. We have to part, you know. The, you, the oh, you want to part the scene. See, because, you know, when DeVoe comes in. Oh, sudden, you're saying the Empress has entered the room? All of a sudden, you get this vibe. I thought I smelled something. It was like the hummus. Smell like, yes, yeah, smell like daisies. And, uh, you know. Daisies and cinnamon there you entered go. the air. I want to get cinnamon. Oh, that's right. See, I don't think you could do another story <laughs> without her interjecting her wisdom and her wiles. I should. Well, <laughs> damn, okay. All right, so, okay, so I'll tell you what. Since you, let, let's pick a little something here. And, and b- believe it, believe me when I say this. She's looking marvelous. She's looking marvelous. She's looking marvelous. She's on my All right, side. let me give. I'll play a piece that represents a collaborative effort between us. A song that is yet to be produced. It's in our upcoming production list. A song entitled "Loves Waking Up." Victor Cortez Douglas and I. Oh yeah. Take a listen while we get set up. We'll be right back. Oh, that old track, man. Good. 
Yeah, yeah. Do you wanna? Yeah, my number. I'm here. Okay. Over my foot. There you go. Perfect. Sight down the body heat. Wait. That's right, getting our guests settled in. Oh, this is echo. All right, everybody, getting ready. Yeah, we're ready. I see you have some fancy here, too, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I might have to do that again. You should. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're getting ready. I want to say hello once again to Blog Talk Radio, all our folks out there.